At its peak, it was the largest construction project in North America. Once online, Motivas Port Arthur Refinery will be the largest refinery in the United States. A project of this magnitude required an innovative and dynamic approach to ensuring communication was consistent and effective. More than 10,000 workers, hundreds of contractors, and multiple levels of management all had to be on the same page. In an effort to meet this unique challenge, a revolutionary new method of communication was introduced at the site. And in the fall of 2009, a weekly video newscast was begun from within the Motiva refinery. The primary focus of the crude expansion project news was keeping everyone safe but it also kept workers engaged, involved, motivated, and at times entertained. Leading this charge and directing this unique marriage of video and construction was Bill Sherman. We do morning meetings, we do walkthroughs, everything. We have a sampling of some of the crews out here at VPS 5. Austin has been part of the construction effort here since the beginning. And with the continued effort to working safely, they're hoping to be here through completion. This is undoubtedly the largest project we've ever done. It takes a lot of coordination and a lot of effort on a lot of people's parts. That's off to the men and women from s and Construction. Not only do they have to be craft workers, but they also have to Here we are outside one of the lunchroom tents here on the Crude Expansion Project. Inside, normally, this is where the crews eat lunch, breakfast, have a lot of safety meetings. Boys craft in here this morning. All listening and engaging. And you, as you navigate your way through this area, keep in mind all the dangers and hazards, okay? These are people that you see on the screens every week that put this stuff together, and you kind of don't know them. Behind the camera right here is uh, Eric Hutchinson. We got Bill Sherman, he's out here, he leads this effort, so all the stuff that you see. <laughs> Behind the controls over here, we've got Eric Von Aspen. And then, and then holding up the cabinet over here, we've got We're talking John PMA, Stone. not to be confused with PMS. Of course, PMS, positive mental state. We're talking positive mental attitude. We walked around the sulfur block to find out how these guys are maintaining that positive mental attitude. There you go, Patty stays positive. No, no time, no room for a bunch of negative thoughts through the head. Try to stay positive. We're out here in SBU block. Stay positive, everybody. Positive. Amy. Ah. Hi. 